Merry Christmas, everybody! Or happy holidays, I should say. <laughs> Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrated. Oh, it's so good. It's the 26th of December, which means one day after Christmas. That doesn't mean I haven't worked on the holiday special. I just wanted a little bit of time to spend with my family, with my friends, celebrating this amazing season. And one thing that I wasn't expecting to see is that the chests are still looking like this. I thought it was only for the 24th and 25th of, this, of December, but apparently they're still looking like this, which reminds me during this time, the trap chest and the normal chest look exactly the same. So a pretty good time to prank your friends, if I say so myself. <laughs> and well, here we are in the holiday special for this year. Now, I put a poll uh, up on the YouTube community tab of the channel uh, a while ago, a few weeks ago, asking you guys what you wanted to see for the holiday special. The first option was to add a new uh, redstone contraption to this amazing holiday uh, village or Santa warehouse or whatever uh, of last year, and it's a pretty cool it's it's a pretty cool creation that we did here, a pretty cool build. If you want to see the the special of last year, I will leave it linked down in the description. Uh, it's basically a tree that is retractable, so it hides here under the the ice and then the ice covers the hole that it leaves with this flying machines that here we have at the side um it also has some villagers selling some or renting some skates here that it also hides uh, underneath the the stone here with some flying machines that we have the system back here uh we have a similar system for the market here which i really love this build by the way guys <laughs> one of my favorite places that i've done in minecraft i come here from time to time just to get some inspiration and then we have the control room but this of course you can see in detail in the last holiday special Unfortunately, none of you voted for this option, which was my favorite. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, I wasn't gonna spend uh, time in something that you don't like or that you don't want to see. So, uh, I guess we'll leave that for next year, probably. Hopefully. We'll see. Anyways, returning to our holiday special of today... Oh goodness, guys, I love this build. I found this little Christmas tree uh, set up on the internet. I don't remember from where it was uh, some days ago. I will look for it and maybe link it down in the description. Uh, everything else, every other decoration I did myself. I love the chimney. It's so wonky. It's so cool. I love it. Um, and yeah, this is the holiday special of today. You Well, the other two options were the Vapor SMP dedicated holiday special which lost by one or two boats, I think, so it was very close. Uh, of course, we did kind of make a holiday special in the Vapor SMP on the last episode. It was a smaller one, but we kind of did get a, a bit of holiday action in that one, so you can check it out. But the last option and the one that won was a new contraption showcase. So that's what we're doing. Of course, I had to decorate it Christmassy because of the season, the theme. And well, it basically is a storage system for redstone components, or at least that's what I'm using it for. But of course, it can be for whatever uh, stackable items you want. And it holds right now 70 items, I think, 35 on each side. Uh, one of them is being used by dummy items or with dummy items because of how the system works. And that's because the next part of the system is a crafting system, an automatic crafting system for any redstone component that we'd like. Except dispensers, because I ran out of time, so the dispensing toys, which are just dispensers, <laughs> uh, is, is pending, the system is pending. So if you want to try it out, this world will be down in the description, or available one down in the description for download. And yeah, we have that input uh, wired to this redstone dust. My idea was to send it off to a specific crafting system only for dispensers, but we'll do that later. And the reason why it is not finished, well, this is a system that I've been working on for like the past three or four months, on and off, mostly off that and on, really. <laughs> um, and it was intended for my single player world and also maybe for the Vapor SMP. But I haven't finished it yet, guys, and I thought, well, maybe it's a cool contraption to show you, and maybe, uh, well, we can get some of your guys' input 
and suggestions or things that we could add to the system before it's on its final version. Now, since this is a prototype, it also has a few flaws in the system that we have to work on. Not very hard uh, things to fix, but things that I couldn't fix in the in the time frame that I had. So um, I guess I will explain to you how it works and maybe you will see some of these systems and flaws in the system as we go through. So first of all, we have a crafting GUI here. We basically insert your, our ingredients here in this crafter in the order that will be uh, needed for crafting. So for example, we have this storage back here with the shulker boxes. I thought shulker boxes were perfect for this because they can hold like three crafting grids in each of them. So we're basically naming them with uh, the items that we can craft. And for example, we have here, well, let's try it with a simple one. For example, the redstone uh, torches or repeaters. Let's use, no, repeaters we cannot use because I wanted to show you the dummy item system again. So redstone torches. We can use the number keys to get them out and the number keys to get them in in the right order. Pretty cool. And so once we have our recipe right there, we can hit this button. A whole system of minecarts will get going. We'll see that in a second. But the way it works is if we want to craft, for example, redstone torches, the crafting recipe is like this. But whenever we input an item with a hopper or a dropper into the crafter, for example, the first item goes in the first slot, the second one will go in the second slot. If we wanted to go in the fourth one as for our recipe here, we would need to lock these uh, slots right here and then the next item that goes in would be in the fourth one. Unfortunately, to do that automatically for all of the types of recipes, we are not going to go back here into the system and configure the, the crafter every time we want to craft something different. So instead, we are using dummy items as our uh, locking slots. So there we go, and then we get them out with a hopper and a filter, and we craft our recipe. So pretty cool. Uh, I've already used the, used the system, and for example, we have a shulker box, an entire shulker box that has been crafted with droppers, um, an entire shulker box of redstone torches, and we have also tested it with target blocks. So pretty cool system. If we hit this button right here, you can see the copper bulb stays on. And we can see some minecarts being dispensed to be able to look for the items. I guess I'll take advantage of the opportunity as the system is running to explain how the looking of items uh, works. So we basically have the option of getting items uh, manually in a single stack or less than a stack from these chests right here. Or in full shulker boxes from these ones right here. And the system takes advantage of that as well. So we have uh, a single item being... Uh, taken from the chests right here, the manual chests, and yeah, it pu it's put in these uh, pots right here. We have a variable filter being set up in each of the hopper minecarts with these water bottles. Sorry, these water bottles, and yeah, it basically looks for the right item for the recipe. Once it finds it, it unlocks these hoppers for a split of a second and retrieves one shulker box that will be picked up by this minecart right here. So for example, we already have used two dummy items shulker boxes that we should be able to see in here. There they are. So whenever the minecart returns with the full shulker box of materials, it unloads it in that uh, chest minecart right here in order of the crafting recipe. And then the shulker boxes are dispensed very satisfactorily <laughs> um, in here. And then the, the hoppers are unlocked in order so that we can craft our items inside of the crafter. The dummy items are gotten out and then the crafted item ends up in this shulker box and the dummy items ends up, end up in this shulker box down here. Uh, we of course break these shulker boxes and send them to here. So here we have our full shulker boxes, our empty shulker boxes and the dummy items are returned to these chests. One thing that I want to mention is that it, this system unfortunately takes two hours and a half <laughs> to empty these shulker boxes and turn them into crafted items. So it's not the fastest of systems. If you want to use it, you might be able to do it with a, a portal chunk loader down here and maybe another one on the other side just in case so that you can leave the area and leave this system running. It does work. It is very good <laughs> on what it does. 
but I do have an idea to make this system faster up to like 30 seconds uh, to craft the whole shulker box of items so maybe we'll do that for version 2 but for first the first version I had to rush some systems for example the crafting system and some of the minecarts down here that's also why we have these snakes of <laughs> repeaters for the delay it's not ideal uh, it could be it could get way more compacted but that would be for another version i just wanted to showcase this contraption because i thought it was a good idea another thing that i want to show is we have the of course the normal soldiers up here i'm gonna just put some items in this chest this is the the input chest and we have a dropper there to kind of pace out the the items and separate them evenly so that the hoppers can handle the speed and as you can see we have water streams all around to be able to sort the items right now the iron blocks are not uh, something that we're sorting so they are just getting burned in this fire of course in the final version we would probably hook this up to our proper storage system so anything that is not filtered in this uh, redstone crafting system would go into the big one and well yeah that's it for that uh, every item that we are sorting we are first filling up these chests right here and then we're filling up shulker boxes which get broken and dispense to these water streams we are lining them with this trick that i saw from the uh, storage tech discord um it works most of the time but uh, every now and then we get a shulker box that jumps to the next lane and ends up in the adjacent uh, chest instead of in the proper one we're gonna have to fix that on the next version hopefully it's not a difficult fix and as you can see once the system has found all of the items it returns our ingredients to in this crafter and we can put them back in our storage right here and finally i guess the only thing missing is this little here it's another gui but this one is like a gift wrapping station we have the toy making station the saddest warehouse and of course the gift wrapping station we are just getting an empty shulker box that we can fill with whatever we want once it's completely filled it gets automatically broken and put into this chest for our uh, or for us to take it and a new empty shulker box is replacing that one if we want to partially fill it for example just a few stacks we can hit this no block and the same happens we get the shulker box right here and an empty one is dispensed we are getting the empty shulker boxes out of this chest and as you can see if i dispense another one there we go it comes out of this chest and uh well we have two options here to use the empty shulker boxes that are coming from the crafting system and manually put them in that chest or to activate this lever and as you can see it automatically gets filled with new empty shulker boxes what this does is basically it unlocks a hopper that allows some empty shulker boxes to come here and we have this huge cong line of <laughs> shulker boxes uh that goes all the way to the shulker loaders over here the shulker loaders down here and also our little wrapping station right here and it basically comes from this little system right here which is a shulker crafting system we have the shulker shells we have the locks and just for the holiday season this was not part of the original system but for the holiday season i also have or i also added a a die station dying station for the shulker boxes is completely random it can get either red white or green um and yeah we have uh, the crafter that turns oaks into planks locks into planks sorry uh planks into chests and of course shells and chests into boxes and then the last crafter just whenever we get a box here it gets also a die here random die from this dropper and it crafts it into a color shulker and we can see all of these hoppers have some shulker uh, boxes in there the way we are doing it is by reading if this pot right here has a shulker inside or not if it doesn't it means that it has or a shulker sh shulker box sorry has been used uh, in whatever system we are using it and then the system activates and crafts a new one we can see that by, for example, speeding the time so that this shulker box can get filled. We're going to have to sprint it like for two hours or something. So maybe we do 72,000. And yeah, I'm going to speed it up. This is just one hour, but we're probably going to need a bit more. 
Also, I'm so very sorry for all the talking. It's a lot of systems that I have to explain. Uh, but here we go. The dummy items shulker box is almost full. There we go. We can see it broken. And we should see a new dummy item shulker box coming. There we go. Uh, the rest of the torches are going to probably need a bit more time. But I guess uh, while we fill those, we should probably see that another shulker box has been crafted. There we go. One shulker box has been crafted. We've used one white die, uh, two shulker shells, and two locks. So that's how the system works. It's a very nice system. It's not the fastest, but it's just shulker, sh shulker boxes. So they take a while to fill, so we don't need the fastest of them all. And finally, once the system has finished crafting, we can see our redstone torches here in this box and some new shulker, empty shulker boxes that have come inside of this chest. And well, yeah, guys, that's the contraption that I wanted to show you for the holiday special. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you have fun playing with it uh, in the world download. I'm gonna post the second version when I have it. I don't know how when that's gonna be. <laughs> it's a lot of systems that we that we are gonna have to improve and add up. The main improvements that we need is to make it faster, make the shulker boxes here, the feeling of the shulker boxes uh, reliable, and I guess more, more compact and better wiring here for the redstone. <laughs> Uh, as I said, they are not difficult fixes. It's just a couple of things that we need to do. But if you have suggestions of what to add to the system, uh, what to change, may maybe you have some systems that we can use for it, uh, leave me down a comment so that I can read it. Or you can wait for the Discord server where we're going to have a lot more activity. Hopefully it's a, it's a useful tool that we're going to have. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate in this amazing time. If you don't celebrate anything, at least pass some good time with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next year as well. Goodbye, guys. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Have a great holidays and happy new year. Bye.